I woke up to an unfamiliar white ceiling. Where am I? My entire body was sore, but not so bad that I couldn't get up. I was already feeling confused, but there was something even more confusing. Yuji? I'm so glad you're awake. Akane? Why are you crying? <laughs> because... I didn't get it. We grew up together. I thought she hated me, but why would she be crying now? Let's try to remember what happened. My name is Yuji Hosokawa, a second year high school student. Ignoring that I've never had a girlfriend, I'm a loner that likes games and anime. As for how people see me... Wanna stop by at the arcade on the way home? Sounds like fun! Let's invite some girls too! Then <laughs> let's invite... huh? What do you think you're looking at, nerd? It's something like this. My social standing as a nerd is different after all. Oh yeah, you grew up with Akane Kikuchi, right? And you can come too, so ask her to join us! Yeah, we're friends, right? Akane? Again? Akane Kikuchi and I grew up together, and people say that she's the most beautiful girl of our grade. She's super popular with the guys. She has a pleasant personality to match her looks, so everyone flocks to her. Except that she seems to hate me. Sorry, not happening. What's that supposed to mean? Sure, we grew up in the same neighborhood, played together every day, and made a promise as kids to always stay together. Keep bragging, why don't you? But we're not like that anymore. Akane? Akane? I could hear you from the hallway. How embarrassing. Your classmates are inviting you out for once, so go with them. They're just messing with me like I'm a nerd. You are, though. It's just because it's true doesn't mean I want to hear it. Besides, they really just want you to join them. But they said you could go with them. What's wrong with that? Don't be so condescending. No way you'd come if I was there. I'd come too. So, so what if you're there? Huh? You would? Don't get the wrong idea. I just feel like going to the arcade too. Uh, really? Yes, really. Okay, but I don't want guys with shady ideas getting close to you. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, don't get me wrong, this is just because your mom asked me to watch out for you. That's all it is. Is that really all? Yes! Um, it looks like she's gonna join us. On second thought, you two go ahead. We wouldn't want to get in the way. What's this about? We, we know how to read, read the room! They left first, looking dejected. Although, to be honest, being left with Akane is still stressful. What do you want? It's nothing. I'm gonna head home. Fine then. Hurry up and leave! Okay. See ya. I didn't think too hard about her staying behind when her classroom is next door. But when I circled back to the room... Dang it! This was the perfect chance to make up with Yuji, too. We could have gone to the arcade and shared old stories on the way home and stuff. I'm such an idiot. At this rate, I'll never be able to tell him that I like him. Wait, really? <laughs> what are you doing here? I forgot something. You didn't hear anything, did you? Did you? Just from when you said, dang it. That's basically everything. Forget it. Wipe it all from your memory. How am I supposed to do that? Then I'll wipe it for you. Huh? What are you gonna do to me? I remember now. I'm here because Akane tried to erase my memories. That's not it. Think about it a little longer. Oh, uh, okay. Let me see. Let's keep going then. Several days after, she stopped by my classroom. We crossed paths on the stairwell. <laughs> what kind of sound was that? You've forgotten what happened that day, right? Huh? Yeah, sure. I was lying about all of it. Don't even think about it anymore. It didn't cross my mind that no one would really fake a confession while alone in the classroom, and I started walking away. A boy suddenly ran from the top of the stairs and bumped into Akane. Being much lighter, she lost her balance from the impact. And then... Ah! Akane, watch out! Oh no! We have to get an ambulance immediately! Akane, can you do one last thing for me? What is it? Under my bed. Please get rid of them without my mom seeing. Don't talk like that! And then you lost consciousness. So that's what happened. I was really worried about you, you know? So, I have a question, Akane. What is it? About my bed. I got rid of everything just like you asked. You fiend! 
You're the fiend for asking a girl you grew up with to throw them out for you. Farewell, my youth. Three months for my red arm to heal, huh? Both of my workaholic parents are abroad, forcing me to be more independent. Not that I mind living on my own, but I just wanted to relax at home. Then my doorbell rang. Akane? Why are you here so early in the morning? Um, well... What's got you so fidgety? You're hurt, you know? And now I'm here. Or something. I'm not in need of a hero. I wasn't quoting All Might. Wow, you knew that reference? Anyway, I came over to help. I'm fine. You really don't have to. Why's that? It's hard not being able to use your right arm, isn't it? It's just how it is, you know? Are you thinking about when I caught you? Well, there's that, I guess. Don't worry about it. I just did what I had to in that moment. What do you mean, what you had to do? Protecting you. Huh? I told you already. I promised your mom that I'd protect you. She's always helping me out, so I'm just returning the favor. Like I said, just don't worry about it. F fine Then at least let me make breakfast. Well, I suppose, if you don't mind. Leave it to me. I'll give it my all. This gentler side of her is pretty cute. I spoke too soon. What is that? It's fried egg. Have you seen carbon before? That's exactly what this looks like. You're so mean! I get it. You're really just trying to finish me off with this, aren't you? N no I just overcooked it a little. This is more than just a little. It's burnt all the way through! Ugh. Where did your confidence over making breakfast even come from? I'm not as good at cooking as my mom, okay? If you won't eat it, then I will. <laughs> Thanks for the food. That was fast. You eat all of it? Mm, it's not so bad. You didn't have to force yourself to eat it. <sighs> you worked hard to make it. It would have been a waste otherwise. Don't give me that, idiot. After that, I think Akane's mood brightened a little. And after that, Akane continued to help with cooking. After the overfried egg, she practiced cooking extra hard with her mom. Wow, it's yellow this time. Hold up. Why are you so happy about the color? Come on, say, ah. Uh... You don't have to do that. Don't be shy, just eat it. It's not about being shy. I might just fall for you like this. F fall? We've got a smooth talker here. If this is all it'd take to make you fall in love, you're way too easy to catch. You think so? How about you try this with the guys at school, then? I bet every single one of them would fall for you. <laughs> I'd never do this for them. I'm only doing this for you, and only you. Now cut the chit-chat and open wide. It's unfair how cute she is when being standoffish. I'll help bathe you and help you use the toilet, too. You really don't have to. It'll be fine. It's good caretaking practice for me. Do you plan on doing this until we're old? Anyway, I think this is too much for you to do alone. Speaking of which, during break time at school, Akane was peeking into my classroom almost every day. Hey, Yuji, she's back today. Go talk to her already. It's hard to take notes, right? Here. These your notes? It seems like my class is ahead, so take them. I see. Uh, thanks. Oh, and one more thing. I made lunch for you, but, but don't worry. Mom helped me, so it should taste fine. Th thanks, Akane. I'll see you after school then. Are you two really not going out? Huh? You must be really into her, right? Uh, maybe. What, not feeling it? I mean, she can be willful, but she's really a good person. I think that she should probably be with someone cooler, not a nerd like me. Dude, are you serious? That kind of stuff doesn't matter, bro. You got hurt trying to protect her, didn't you? Yeah, you were totally cool enough. Why are you guys being so encouraging anyway? Because, because we, we can, can read, read the room. room! On that note, is it only because you're not confident in yourself that you're keeping your distance from her? You've been so sure that she hates you. How come? Well, a lot of things happened during junior high school. It's been three months since Akane started taking care of me. Good as new! I can play games again! My backlog is built up! Oh, right. I guess Akane won't be around anymore now that I'm better. Well, she's done more than enough. There's no reason to keep her here longer than she has to. Huh? Is it a delivery? It was Akane at the door. Hi. Uh, hey. How's your arm? It's, it's all better now, so, uh... I see. Well, I'll start making dinner. Huh? Hey! I was shocked. 
My arm's fixed, but she still intends on cooking? Why would she... No. I think I already know the answer. Um, this is a bad time to ask, but... You hate me, right? Well... Why would you do all this for me? I never really hated you, and I heard a lot from your two classmates. You told them about what happened in junior high, right? Those two... I wish you would have told me that it was all a misunderstanding. I didn't want to bring you any trouble. In junior high, some of my classmates were teasing me. Are you and Akane dating? No, we're not. Why? But you went to grade school together, right? Yeah, and we do live in the same neighborhood. Could you imagine the rumors of she's with a nerd like you? Or is she a nerd too? That has nothing to do with her. I thought that being with her would bring her trouble, so I thought it'd be better to distance myself. Yuji, let's just go home. She's just my childhood friend. I don't like her or anything. Um, behind you. What? <laughs> Akane, did you... Uh-oh. I didn't do anything. After that, there was a wall between me and Akane. What you said really hurt me that day. I really liked you, and I thought we'd always be together. But it's really my fault. You only said that to protect me. And I should have realized that if I'd thought about it more. I'm sorry I didn't trust you more. You don't have to apologize. It's my fault. I said something I didn't mean, and I hurt you because of it. After three years, we finally cleared the air between us. I want to stay with you, and not just like how it's been until now. I don't want that at all. I want us to move forward together. Akane, I think I can tell you for real now. Something I couldn't tell you back in junior high. We've known each other for a long time, and you're cute and wonderful. I like you, and I want to go out with you, and I don't want to give you up to anyone else. Yuji, I accept. Let's stay together forever. We didn't raise a weird flag somewhere, did we? Huh? What flag? Um, never mind. If it's there, I'll tear it down. I have no idea what you're talking about. So you're going out for real? Yeah, sorry you had to go through all this. It's all good, after all. We, we know, know how, how to read, read the room. room. <laughs> right, thanks guys. I'm gonna head home with Akane now. Have a good one. Live happily ever after. Oh, right, I have to introduce you guys. Hi, I'm Yuki. I'm Kaori. Nice to meet you. Huh? huh? Akane tells me that they're looking for boyfriends. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Thanks for introducing your friends to them. No problem. They came to me because they were worried about you after all. <laughs> and to think that they first treated me like an antisocial nerd. But you are though. Anyway, I'm coming over again today. I told you that you don't have to anymore. That's too bad. I was thinking of making up for cleaning that out from under your bed. You mean, I? Welcome home, my youth!